Hi everyone, finally it's October and I owe you an update on the $250,000 retirement portfolio. So let's go, let's go deep. What's new, what I've done wrong, what I've done right, what I'm looking for, trade ideas. Palantir has been a huge one, made $18,000 on Palantir. Guys, you'll see this has been a huge one for us. We did a lot of videos on YouTube on Palantir and we stacked the empire by doing the prop trading firms capital. We take that money. Let me show you right now. What we do is we go here, we rack in our private. By the way, this is a community that you can join absolutely free. It's called the Think Well Differently community. It's below uh, in your description. So the guys come and they have classes on how to pass the prop firms on asset protections, tax efficiency. And so what we do here, if you look at my October prop firms money, on one account only, I made $6,459. I take that money, I grab that money, and I re-inject in tax defer or tax-free investment, whether it's my portfolio, my retirement portfolio, because it's tax uh, deferred, tax-free, and it's asset protected, especially when you put them in solo for one kill, stuff like that, because it's uh, federally ERISA protected from any lawsuits. So it's very, very powerful. So I use a symmetrical bet where I pay a prop eval fees here for a $50,000 account, $49 per month, right? And in less than a month, I try to pass the account, get here, pass it, make money, get payout, and reinvest here. Idea is that you use a symmetrical bet and you don't use your money to day trade anymore and build your retirement funds. You work, W-2 income, you have a business, you have prop firm access, right, where it's a symmetrical bet for $49, possibly you can over a period of three months, six months, one year, learn how to pass those prop firm accounts and crush it, all right? So when you go into, and by the way, if you want to learn more about that, tomorrow night at 8 p.m., we'll do a master prop trading firm capital and retirement synergies on how I go from one bucket to the next bucket to the next bucket, leading to next week, our final 2024 uh, mastery mentorship program where we do the intensive dual bootcamp prop trading firm capital retirement and options with zero dt so tomorrow night don't miss this free event because i'll show you stuff that are very important how you pass those accounts the size the drawdown the consistency rule the stuff that you need to know even if you don't join us in the mentorship to learn about this and have the right mind frame from people that not only do it, but are doing it fairly well. Because imagine when you have five accounts at top step or other problems that are reputable, because a lot of them are not reputable. That would be uh, so far on five accounts of 30,000 a month if I had that, uh, uh, the copier across the five accounts on this. I don't have it, but I'm saying if I had it in this case, right? Also, most important, um, importantly, it's not about me. It's about other guys, you know, in the community. You go here, Benito, that used to be a truck driver. He's a retired truck driver. Look, four MNQs trading, four MNQs making four, $300 uh, uh, the other day. Peter, uh, here, another day from Benito, 147 and it shows you, and it shows you his bracket. It shows you the power indicators, how it's being done. It shows you everything, you know, because those guys are with us in the live room every day, daily, where we help you guys do the entry, the exit of the trade. We do our own bracket in front of everybody, and it's helpful. So all of this is a way for you to not use your capital anymore. Do not, do not, I repeat. Do not, do not use your own capital for day trading anymore. Be obsessed until you can pass the prop trading firm capital and re-inject that in the retirement account, like I'm going to show you 
right now. So let's go to the retirement account, October 2024. I have showed you those accounts the entire year, like literally the entire year. Uh, if you look at the past video, January uh, 2024 on. So we had about, uh, where was it? Uh, we were at, uh, I have to reduce the zoom here. We had uh, about, uh, about $233,000 at the end of uh, March. Then uh, now in October, October the 9th, uh, we see, you can see at the bottom right, when I took the screenshots uh, last week, we were up 248,000, so another 15,000 um, dollars. And the retirement accounts have done fairly well, guys. Um, I want to show you the positions because that's what you're interested in and that's what you want to learn and see what I own and the cost basis, you can see. And by the way, uh, I don't know, when was the last time that you saw someone on YouTube giving you access to their retirement accounts? I mean, this is literally my retirement accounts. Now, someone say, oh, a quarter million dollars is not a lot. Well, number one, that's not nothing. <laughs> and number two, that doesn't mean I don't have other assets. I own real estate and I do the same 1031 exchange for tax efficiency, tax protections. And the reason I don't put all my net worth into retirement account is because in case you don't know, ding, ding, retirement accounts is still, you know, could, could be seized by the government, could be uh, uh, changed, the laws can change, you know, on your retirements. And so with all the trillions of dollars in deficit, I'm perfectly happy just growing this one and focusing on my other businesses and investments. So Palantir has been a fantastic one, as I told you, and a couple of ones that I showed you over the year, the past uh, uh, almost 10 months now. So you could have literally get into some of those investments when I was showing you. So I don't know, the slide here. Oh. Trying to show you the, see if I can zoom a little bit more. So if you scroll down, Palantir right there has been a huge one for us. So I have done a lot of YouTube video on Palantir guys. So Palantir right there, two accounts at Charles Schwab, 798 shares, $18,800 of profit, $18,000, $800 of profit. This has been a huge one. Of course, there's some that have done extremely well, but with smaller sizes like um, the uh, Google, the uh, uh, Amazon has done fairly well. Um, I have done very, very well on AT&T, believe it or not, and we have nice... Uh, dividend coming on AT&T. Uh, Conbez, of course, you know, we bought Conbez at 65.71 with the power indicators. So let me show you the Conbez on the probability power indicator, how it was helpful, how we made this $18,000 in the overall portfolio. And then I'll go through the entire portfolio, the good, the bad. There's some bad stuff I want to show you. I don't want to be <laughs> just showing you the good. There's stuff I could have done better. And we can, we'll go into the scanner and look at the opportunity of upcoming opportunity that I think you should keep an eye on that could help you. And by the way, this is not stuff that I am telling you after the fact about Panatir. If you go into the Day Trading Zones uh, YouTube channel or the Power Indicator uh, YouTube channel, there's a lot of stuff you always don't want to miss those videos. So if you have not missed any of these videos, eight months earlier, Eight months ago, I talked about Palantir. I talked about PayPal at 55, 54, 61. It's in the high 70s now. Uh, Palantir is one that I've really, really talked a lot over the past two or three years. You know, some videos I put on private now, they don't even show. But you can see, this is like already something we were talking about, Palantir 
eight months ago. So, so there was two videos, as a matter of fact, of Palantir eight months ago that I was telling you guys, Palantir, Palantir. So now you, you, if you look at the Palantir positions and how we got it, you can see that my cost basis on Palantir was 15,000. 582 for 798 shares. So let me let's let, let me give you uh, an idea of the cost basis on the Palantir. Then we'll look where Palantir can go, and then we'll look at some positions uh, on other stuff that that might be interesting. So on Palantir, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get a calculator for you guys. I had uh, 15 uh, 582. Is that what I mean? Yeah, 15 582 divided by 798 shares. It was a $19.52, $19 average. But I started buying this stuff when it was in the 12 and the 15. So look here, buy on blue on the probability power indicators that is unique and patented. Took us three years to get the pattern. Buy on blue because this is one third, one third, one third. So one third, one third, one third. Buy on blue. This is where you have 66 to 95% chance of success. Sell at the purple at the top. This is where you have 66 to 95 chance of a retracement. So we started accumulated on blue. And you see that the average cost basis was around the 19. So 19 around here, right? Now look here, if I use the replay where... So it's buy on blue, sell on purple. This is where you have the highest probability. But look, even if you take the replay and you say, okay, Mark, show me the tool, how they were behaving before the break at five, eight dollars here. So let's go back here. That's the beauty here. Look at this. 68% chance of success of buying Palantir here at seven bucks. You know, the probability were on your side. Palantir is on an incredible $43. $43. So, <laughs> and by the way, and I have a price target at $50, $55 and possibly a split. So imagine for the retirement accounts, what could happen here? I have 798 shares. And it could be a split on Palantir one day of 10 to 1. That would be 7,000 shares. 5 to 1, 3,000 shares. You know, even 2 to 1 will give us uh, 1,600 shares, 1,500 shares, okay, for our family. So this is a potential where Palantir within the next 10 to 20 years could be a half million dollars to a quarter million dollar play on a $15,000 investment. Now, you can look at all the cost bases. I urge you to look at it you know, the good, the bad. Let me show you some of the bad because I, I, I like to show you some of the stuff we screwed up. So stuff we screwed up was Walgreens. Walgreens has been one of my peeves. Another one that has not performed well, but I think it will perform well and I'm keeping and I'm going to accumulate more. I'll show you on the scanner is Intel. Intel has not performed well, but if I go to the power scanner and I look at... Intel, so let's go on the power scanner. The Intel is, is going to probably recover fairly well. This is at the top of my uh, power scanner now, the three-in-one scanner that we have with the probability power indicator suite, right? And Intel is showing up as a good one. Uh, CVS has been pounded. Uh, Tesla, Micron are showing up. See, anything that is AI related that is going to have a, a military application, uh, a artificial intelligence application, I want to be in. And so I think Intel, as they do a cost cutting, they are, are reducing significantly expense. I think it's a five year play, but you'll see Intel back from this 18 in the 50s, 60s within the next five years. So. When it's dirt cheap like this, I kind of like the idea of accumulating uh, Intel. Now, if we go back to the portfolio here, you can see also some of our funds, uh, FDIG, IBT, some of the ETF that we have uh, all here, TM, the uh, TMF, the one that we have, long bonds. Also, 
uh, you can look at some of the fonts, uh, VTSAX, and job. Now, I want to show you something that is interesting that is going to cook your curiosity. We have, right? So let me show you a mistake, by the way, huge mistake that I've done. I want to show you a loss that we have here in the portfolio for, uh, I don't know if it's showing it properly. Uh, maybe let's go back one more. SPXS, yeah. So we've lost $7,000 on SPXS. That's the triple bear ETF. So even though the portfolio is long delta, I wanted to go into a, an election year a little bit more cautious with some triple bear ETF, thinking that there was there will be a lot of volatility. And it's not over. Look, the election is coming in two weeks, three weeks now. There might be contested elections. There might be legal battle for the elections. So I'll keep the triple bear ETF edge, but this has been kind of bad. We lost $7,000. Uh, it's a $10,000 left on this. I want to use this $10,000 and add to our winning position, the Tesla, you know, uh, the Palantir, the Intel. Well, Intel is not winning now, but the Google, the Amazons, and the AMD positions, okay? So at one point, when we clear up the elections and the cycle goes back full bloom, if we have some type of a pullback and fight with the elections that is contested, and let's say the VIX spikes and stuff, probably we'll start getting rid of this 1,499 shares on SPXS, which is the edge in the portfolio, the uh, 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 really the delta short to edge the portfolio. Now, Look, another thing also on the portfolio is we have increased the cash positions right now. We have $90,000 in cash equivalent. So either it's at the cash or it is the money market. So you would look at the portfolio and it's almost a third, like let's say 20, 25% in cash. And we are waiting same for the elections and add and add to the pullback of the stocks that we like that are already in the portfolio, all right? So um, this is a quick update on the uh, portfolio. I'm looking at Intel. If you look at the power scanner here, um, you know, I have um, AMD that I really look, uh, I, I don't want to go into the miners for the crypto, so it's more Intel, AMD, uh, maybe Micron, Conbase, uh, those are the ones, Google, you know, anything that is uh, um, into the um, AI and Tesla, you know. Tesla, we've done relatively well. I, I, I have a, a Tesla position in another retirement account that I have for the company. And so Tesla will continue adding into the Tesla. So it's showing up here, 220. They said there's another 35% upside left. So if I can get the Tesla between 175 and 205, I will continue adding to the Tesla. So again, guys, if you want to learn about how to use prop firm accounts, capital to feed into your retirement tax-free tax deferral like I just showed you, tomorrow you don't want to miss this type of matrix that I will share with you at 8 p.m. on the dual webinar, Master Prop Firm Trading Capital and Retirement Synergies with Options and Stocks. Tomorrow, 8 p.m., guys, which leads to the October 28th Bootcamp Intensive. It's the final one for the year. I do about one of those per year now. So every six months to 10 months, I do one, right, every year you know, one per year now, and it's going to be awesome. You know, we have uh, 14 seats left now for the bootcamp. We had open for the VIP last week. We'll reopen officially tomorrow, Monday, and we'll close registration this Thursday. So again, trading real money, real accounts. I'm trying to show you guys stuff that others are not showing you and using, putting my money where my mouth is, my mouth is using the same tools that have helped me Netting an $18,000 in 
uh, Panantir that is going to keep on splitting, compounding tax-free, tax differ within the entity of the uh, retirement accounts. Okay? Hope it was helpful. Take care, everyone.